Welcome back to the Morning, Noon, and Night Show. I'm joined now by Susan Simonelli, owner of the Susan Simonelli Spa and author of The Simonelli Solution, a seven-day plan for radiant skin. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to have you on because I actually, I'm a big fan of your spa. I used to have one out in Amagansett. Yeah. And um, I'm just a big fan of your approach to healing. Can you tell me a little bit about your beauty philosophy? Sure. Um, we try to teach people how to eat properly um, so that they have longevity and so that their skin has the nutrients it needs from the inside out. And we also have a product line that's based in as many natural organic ingredients as possible, like seaweed, uh, extracts, and a lot of antioxidants that are much p more powerful than vitamin C, like pine bark extract. Uh, we also have copper and other minerals that are unusual in skincare products that help to create more collagen in the skin naturally so that you don't need all the fillers and injections and that kind of make you look um, unhuman after a while. Yeah, and it's not, you don't have to do all these things right. to yourself. It's you more really about the don't. things you put in your body that can improve the way you look. And also having a very simple skincare program that takes a minute in the morning and a minute at night that'll really give you a huge bang for your buck. So what are some simple things we can do at home to improve our skincare? Well, um, when you wash your face, use a washcloth. Okay. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's really important because it's... My mom always tells me to use a washcloth. It's so cloth. true because it'll physically remove things that your fingertips don't get to. And all, also, um, and this is all in my book, wash your hands before you wash your face. Okay. Because your hands could be filthy and filled with yeah. germs. So you want to really make sure they're clean before you wash your face. Always wash with warm water, rinse with cool water. Okay. Make sure you wash your face before you go to bed and then do your routine and make sure you wash your face when you wake up in the morning because your skin, you sweat all night long. When I give, I still give facials. When I give people facials, I can tell which side of the face touches their pillow all night long because they usually have more breakout on one wow. side than the other because of the sweat. And I think pe women should change their pillowcases more than once a week. Okay. And I think they should dry their face with little washcloths, clean washcloths, instead of using the same towel you use on your body. And we have three different cleansers in our line, but one of them is a very unusual product based in seaweed, and it really dissolves dead skin cells. So it's very unique, and it gives you a beautiful glow. Cause yeah, it, I've heard you referred to as the seaweed queen, actually. Yes, we are. And also, um, I believe in eating seaweed as well. Right, so show me. What have you brought up? Well, these are just some of the foods that I think are important for people to get into their diet, like, like really dark green leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. which help to build your blood and antioxidants with all the berries. The darker the berry, the more antioxidant it has. If you like dairy, which is not great for your skin, believe it or not, and not great for your weight, believe okay. it or not, you should eat radishes because it'll cut through the fat and daikon, which is this big white looking carrot that really helps to dissolve garbage in the body. And also your diet should be as alkaline, uh, pretty alkaline uh, or a balance between acid and alkaline and that's where okay. the celery root comes in. So what other foods have alkaline? Celery and? Celery, lemon. lemon. When lemon okay. gets into your stomach, it is uh, it turns alkaline. So in the morning, I say this in my book, you should drink, after you brush your teeth and scrape your tongue, you should drink a glass of water with lots of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice in it, um, to clean your whole alimentary canal, which is from this end to, to the other So end. the alkaline's clean, things yes. like celery and lemon, yes. and the antioxidants reboost. It, and, and the greens rebu rebuild you. And then I have all of the same principles in my skincare products. Okay. And then we, you also bathe in seaweed, which really? is wonderful for you. Yes, because while you're soaking in the bathtub, that's when you have time to do your masks. So if you're swimming in the ocean out in the Hamptons, are you, you getting should, a little of it? You're getting a lot of it. You, if, if you See, we're recreating the ocean in your bathtub at home. You, you need two tablespoons in the bathtub. When you're in the ocean, you should stay in the ocean for 45 minutes to remineralize your blood because through your skin, you absorb new, um, the minerals and trace elements, cutaneously it's called. So when you go in the ocean, try to stay in there for 45 minutes at least. Great. This is such. This is great information. Just you know, being out in the Hamptons, swimming in the ocean, yes. eating local fresh produce. Right. 
you can these are the steps to exactly. healthy glowing skin and, and the Hamptons are loaded with the best local um, fresh fruits and vegetables and you've got great eggs out here and and um, even your wines everything is yeah. so luscious and rich because How the soil plums? is good Do plums, plums have any are <laughs> yes and they're very good for cleansing your body plums turn into prunes when they dry out so okay. plums are very good for you I knew I loved plums. They're very good for you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back with more of the morning, noon, and night show. Next up is Brian Howell from East End Edibles. <laughs> I love plums.